Hi guys. Getting set up here for our loop band class. So welcome if you're here live. All right, let's see. Make sure you can see me. I'm gonna angle that down just a bit. Let me say hi here on live chat. And if you've got live chat where you are taking this class from, let me know you're here um, if you would like. And aside from that, all you need to do today, if you have a loop band, looks like this loop stretchy band, grab it. This class, we use the loop band through almost the whole class. If you don't have one, it's fine, you can still do this class. You'll just do the moves without it. It'll still be a great workout. But the loop band is one of my very favorite tools, whether I'm at home or at the gym. I think it's super effective in a million different ways. So if you don't have one yet, see if you can order one. It's worth it. They're not very expensive. And you know what, even if they were expensive, I think it would be worth it. They're really effective. So grab a loop band if you've got it. If you don't, you're still going to be fine. And uh, we're going to start here in just a second. If you're just joining me, um, aside from a loop band, if you have a mat or a towel or something, we will be down on the ground at some point. And then if you like to listen to your own music, I don't play music on my channel. So crank up some music if you like to do that as well. I'm gonna keep us on point on our time today. Let's see who's here. Amanda, how are you? Jody, good morning guys. Grab your loop band, grab your mat. Uh, crank up some music if you wanna to listen to music. About 30 seconds or so, and then we're gonna get started. Who else just popped on here? Alicia, it's good to see you on here, my friend. All right. Loop band, blanket, towel, something, because we will be down on the ground. The other thing, have a wall close by you. If you're doing this from a TV or something and, and your wall is not really right in front of your device, you will be fine. We're gonna go into, I shouldn't say this at the beginning of class because people will be like, log off. <laughs> <laughs> Katrina, how are you? Lacey, good morning. But we're gonna warm up our legs with some wall sits uh, with the loop band. So if you can hear my voice where a wall is, you'll be just fine. You don't need to adjust and move all around. Um, but look around real quick before we get started and make sure you have a wall that you can do a wall sit up against somewhere in the general area, all right? You guys ready? And we're gonna get started. You know what, just for fun, I'm gonna grab my phone because I wanna time us. I wanna see how long. I haven't done wall sits in a while, so this might get ugly, but I want you to loop down just under your knees, and then we're all gonna do this together. Find a wall. Okay, you can move back in front of your television or whatever um, as soon as we're done with this. So don't stress about it. Don't think it. Just find a wall. And we are going to sit nice and low. See how far from you now for a second. It's all right. I'll move up. <laughs> this is where my wall is. I want you to come down in that wall sit and I want you to hold it starting now. Now, for this first set, we're just going to get some tension on our loop band. So if you have a loop band, Bring your feet far enough apart and push your knees open, just kind of holding them in that stationary position so that you can start to feel those glutes activate. The lower you can sit, the more glute activation you're gonna get. The other thing, don't concave forward like this. I see a lot of people when they get tired in their wall sits, they're like here. Flat back, and if anything, arch your back. Um, that's gonna force the into your glutes, and you can feel it. Arch your back, see where that goes. Round everything out, see where that goes. All right, arch your back, get that workload in your glutes. All right, let's see, guys. We're going to try to hold this. 
We've already been down here for a long time, right? If you get shaky, gut it out. And uh, I'm not going to tell you yet. I just started the timer. Let's we'll see. We're just going to hold it down. Big deep breaths. As always in my classes with wall sets, you don't stand up when it gets ugly. You can be shaky. You can be swearing. I don't care. Stay down. <laughs> the only reason you get to stand up is, number one, when I tell you you can stand up. Or number two, if you're literally going to collapse on the floor because your legs are dead and fried. Those are your two choices. You don't get to stand up before one or maybe both of those things happen. All right? So keep it on down low. If you're not starting to feel some serious discomfort in your quads and your glutes and your hamstrings and you're not starting to get real shaky, you need to be lower, all right? We've been sitting in this wall, sitting down for a while. You should be feeling it. The other thing you can do to make this a little more challenging is take your feet out wider. And we're gonna stay down here for 20 more seconds. You can do 20 seconds, right? Of course you can do 20 seconds. Keep it down here. You got about 15 more. Just starting to get those legs warm, uncomfortable, all that good stuff. And go ahead and stand up. All right, guys, nice job. So for me, it was about 1.30, but I talked forever before we even started, so it was a lot longer than that. More than two minutes, you were down in that wall sitting. Nice job, okay. Now, we're gonna take that band. You're gonna pull one foot out and step on the loop with the other, all right? I'm gonna show you how to do a stiff-legged deadlift using your loop band. I might move around a bit, got a hair in my mouth here, so that you can see, but you can just get going, you don't need to move, all right? Standing on your band, pick that back leg up, you're gonna get as much balance as you can, all right? Find somewhere to look at in front of you, you're gonna come down, and up. Take it slow. Bring that back leg with you when you come down. And then all the way up. Now, depending on where you are with your balance, try to keep that back leg off the ground. But if you need to tap a toe, that's all right. But try to keep going. I'm gonna turn to the side. You guys probably don't even need that, but I'll show you. Watch now, I'll be all crazy. Okay, feel the stretch in your hamstring, especially when you're here. And then bring it up. We are gonna do 12. Keep going. 11. Don't worry, keep counting. 10. Lay out as big as you can. Nine. And eight. Seven. Already losing my balance a little bit here. Six. Five. Almost there, we're almost there. Four. Three. Two, we got one more. And one. Now, pay attention to the leg that you've got the loop band on. I didn't tell you which leg, so it might be different from you. It doesn't matter. The leg that you have a loop band on, remember which leg that is. Now you're gonna take that band and stick it just above your knees. The leg that you had it on is gonna be in front and we're gonna do a back lunge with a kick up. Follow along if you're thinking, you're speaking a different language, Aaron. All right? Okay, ready? Here we go. You're gonna lunge back, kick up, lunge back, Kick up. Your hands, do what you want to do. You can be here, here. Take it nice and slow. 
Balance to the best of your ability. Even though we are doing a back lunge, your weight is forward on that same leg that was down. So we're not leaning back like this, okay? Keep your weight forward, kick. Down and kick it up. We're gonna do 12. 11. And 10, you can do this without a loop band, obviously. Woo, nine. <laughs> and eight. Seven. Five. Four. Three. Two. Boom, and one, and up. All right, shake it out. You'll get even a second longer to shake it out because we're gonna do the other side now. So one side and then the other. If you're not on the same side as me, gotta move this out of the way, guys. We'll need it again if you need to move yours. Don't move it too far. All right, stiff-legged, one-legged, deadlifts. You guys ready? Let's see how balanced we are on this side, right? Let's do it. Forward and up. I look odd because I'm like staring off into space kind of, but it's helpful with balance if you look at something that doesn't move. So if you're struggling to keep your balance, don't look at your computer screen or your phone screen. Find somewhere on the floor in front of you to look. As you get a little more balance, See if you can really lay out in this move. Raising that back leg up. And here's our 12. Get some hamstrings going here. Ten more. This is a little bit of a slower move. It's all right, we can hang in there. Nine. Eight. Oh, I'm shaky. I'm shaky from yesterday. From that class we did yesterday was a killer. Six. Last five, you guys. Four. Three, we are on our last one, let's go, one, and we made it, all right, don't flip yourself <laughs> with your loop band, we're going to stick it on both legs, remember the leg that you had it under, just above your knees, both of them. Back lunge with the kick up. You ready? Let's go. Back lunge. Now when you have a free hand, I'm going to ask who was with me yesterday for bar. You're getting like a double whammy for glutes and hamstrings today. My backside, that class was so good. <laughs> my backside is so sore. It started getting sore last night. And it's sore like in my cheeks. <laughs> right where I want it to be sore. So if you did bar class, I'll ask at the end of class too. But let me know if you did that with me yesterday. Because you're gonna be sore on top of sore. Give me 12. Lunge your back. Kick up 11. 10. And nine. Eight. We've got six, boom, and five, four, two, last one, and one, nice, all right. Move that loop band under your knees. 
I'm gonna get way far away from you. It's like Sesame Street, right? Far and near. <laughs> far, we're gonna find our ball. Loop bands under your knees. Do this without a loop band if you don't have one. We're gonna go down in our ball set. I want you here, all red, okay? So, feet are wide. Line those toes up straight ahead for now, okay? Take your legs out wide enough that you're feeling tension in the glutes, outer thighs, and then make sure you're low, okay? Get as low as you can. We're just gonna hold for a second. Now, when I tell you, we're gonna start pressing out with the knees, okay? Keep your back kind of arched, chest out. You want the workload in those glutes. Your quads are gonna be burning regardless. We wanna try to shift some of the weight down to our glutes and hamstrings. So chest out, butt down. Ready, let's see how long we can hang in here. I'm already shaky. <laughs> and let's go, we're pushing out and out. Breathe through it. You gotta make yourself work on these. So you get to choose. If your legs are fried and you need to stay up a little higher on your wall, do it. But if you feel like you can do this all day long, you need to get lower, you need to get your legs wider. Don't let those knees come in. Here's another little trick to really get those glutes. Take your heels out farther, okay? That angle, whoo, really focuses in on your glutes. If you're not feeling it in those glutes, see if you can get a little lower chest up and out, outer thighs and glutes. We've already been at it for a minute. Let's see if we can hang in for just a bit longer. Push and push. We did two minutes just holding. Let's see if we can do two minutes here. You're already basically there. I might be lying slightly, but really, it's not that far off. Stay down, okay, you can do it. It's all right if it gets shaky and ugly. My legs are shaking like a leaf. If I was closer, you'd really be able to see, but you're gonna to start to hear it in my voice. And it is okay, guys. We have 30 more seconds to hit the two minute mark, and we can do it. So you stay down here, press those knees open, keep your back arched, keep the workload in your glutes, push, push. 15 seconds, you can do anything for 15 seconds. Shut your brain off and just keep going. Keep going, stay down here. We're coming up on our last five seconds. Four, three, two, and I am gonna need some help. Holy shaky legs, ah! <laughs> shake it off, shake it off, great job, nice work. All right, two minutes, two minutes with that added push. You guys are rock stars. Okay, I want to do one more set of just those hamstring deadlifts. So um, try to start with the leg you ended with last time. I know we threw in those back lunges, so you might not remember. But I think I need to start with this leg. Good grip on that band. Your hand might get a little tired, okay, because you should have some pretty good tension. Last set of these. You ready? Let's test our balance. Here we go. Forward and back. It always takes me a few reps to get in the swing of things like this. And then we can lay out nice and long. Bringing that back leg up. Nice flat back. Let's go with 12. <laughs> I should look directly into my light that I've got down here. Nine more. Seven. Obviously, I have no business talking through these because it makes me tip over. Six. We've got four. 
three, two, last one, and one. I'm gonna give you a second, okay? This is just like all the other one-legged moves we do. You're gonna feel fatigue in weird places, the arch of your foot, your ankle, your low back, because you have to use all those muscles to balance. So take a second, circle that ankle out, and we're gonna move to the other side. All right. Keep your fingers crossed that my balance is better on this side. I might just come right into my camera. I don't know. <laughs> Ready, let's go. <clears throat> These can be done without a loop band. I know most of you who come to this class uh, bring your loop band, but you can do this if you don't. Or if you only have one and you have some family members doing it, they can still do this move just Forward and back, nice flat back without a loop band. It'll still work. All right, guys, we're doing our 12. <sighs> 10, and I'm going to tip over again. <clears throat> We've got six more. Four. Last two. Two. And one more. And one, nice job. You guys, nice job. I was kind of falling all over the place. That's all right. If you felt that way too, we're still gonna get the benefits. It does not have to be perfect. It just needs to be done. So grab your band. Let's stick it back under our knees. And we're gonna be back to the wall, all right? Get my trusty timer here. And we're going to get down on our wall sit to start with. This time, I want your feet pretty close together, okay? Now, the idea is your feet are close together and your knees are wide. So you kind of need to find a spot that works for you to be able to get your knees wide enough that you've got tension on the band. And do you know what I'm going to have you do to help us out? Stay down in your wall sit, but move your band up above your knees. I think that will allow for a little more tension in this position. And then you're going to take your knees wide. Feet are close together, touching or otherwise. If it hurts to be on the side of your feet and you find that you're kind of turning out, then just take your feet a little bit further. Okay? Feet in, knees out. Get down nice and low. And we're going to start with those presses. Press and press. All right? So same thing, stay down low, just a slightly different angle. If something hurts you, and when I say hurt, <laughs> you're gonna be tired, shaky, and the workload of this move will hurt. But if you have like something that feels like an injury hurting you, then go back to just that traditional foot position. That's okay, all right? Stay down nice and low. And we're just gonna press those knees open. Now, if you felt like you could feel it more with the band under your knees, you can always move it there too. These little subtle changes sometimes just apply to different people a little bit differently. So make it work for you. Make sure you're down nice and low. Make sure your feet are far enough away from your body so that you're at a 90 degree angle or even wider with those legs, okay? And we are going to do 12, 11, 10, and 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 
to and hold it. Adjust those feet. So we're back to kind of that traditional squat um, chair sit position. Use that loop band a bit. We're just going to hold it. Okay. All right, guys. We have 30 more seconds to hit our two minute mark. <clears throat> I want you to get as low as you can to do this. Make sure you're pressing out on the band. Hold and breathe. You should be shaky and uncomfortable at this point. You got 15 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and bring it up. Beautiful job. All right. Get rid of that loop band just for a second. We're going to let our legs have a little bit of freedom. But we're going to go back to our wall sit. So we're going to do two sets of wall sits. Pardon me, guys. Two sets of wall sits without a band. The reason we're doing two is we're going to do one leg at a time. If you find that one leg is just too much for you today, then you're going to do two sets of two leg wall sits. Two minutes each. Then we're done with one forever for the rest of our lives that might be a stretch but we'll see all right let's take it down and we're going to leave our right leg down left leg over now i like to get this leg crossed over while i'm up a little bit higher on the wall so go ahead and do that and then we want to sink down and if you were in my bar class yesterday we did something similar to this on the bar i want you to to focus the workload in your glute. So pop that hip out a little bit and then take it down. So you can feel this glute taking up a big portion of the workload. If it's all in your quad, you're too high up and you're leaning forward, all right? So back squat against the wall, one leg. Hold it, I just hit start. And if you need to go to two legs, you have that option. Few other things while you're down here that I want you to think about. If all of your body weight is jammed up in the toe of your shoe, your foot is too close to the wall and you need to pop it out a little bit further, the majority of your weight should be in the heel of the leg that's on the ground. All right? So go ahead and hold it here. You can put your elbows up against the wall. You can do this if you need to for a little more balance. We are going to hang in here. We've been doing two minutes with both legs down, but I know you guys are super tough and strong, and we are going to do this final set. Two minutes with just one leg, but because I am such an annoying chatterbox, you are already to basically the one minute mark. So let's hang in there for one more. This last minute is when it gets real, okay? I want you to do everything you can to stay in this position. You have less than a minute. You got this, all right? Stay here. Big deep breaths. It's gonna get uncomfortable. That is okay, we have 40 seconds to go. 40 seconds. Breathe. <clears throat> 30 seconds, you can do it. <clears throat> you, can, you can shout out names, you can call me names. I'm not there, that's fine. I just assume all of you are just smiling at me. <laughs> 15 seconds, you got this. You're on your final 10. Five, four, three, Two, can we get off the wall? I just don't know. Oh my gosh. <laughs> shake it out. Shake it, shake it. I'm gonna give you a second, okay? We're not gonna do a big rush. Grab a drink if you need it. Um, hit pause. Lie down for a minute. No, don't do that. <laughs> um, who was here yesterday? Who's got their phone or their computer close enough by that you can give me a thumbs up? Who did the bar class yesterday with me? Because this is a main trick today. It's a little different. <clears throat> We're stationary on a wall, but yesterday in bar class, we did a ton of one-legged squats in this position. 
So you're getting it again today, sort of, a little bit of a different form. All right, get back to the wall. We're gonna take this slow because the leg you were on is gonna be really tight. We're gonna need to stretch it out so you can get low, all right? So cross it over. Make sure that the leg that you are leaving planted on the ground is far enough away from you before you cross over like that. So you can sit down and be at a 90 degree angle. Okay, let's do it. Take it down. I'm gonna have to help this guy up here now. You might have to hold this leg because it's gonna be tight. Tight for a second. Get down as low as you can for now. A little stretch. Pop this hip out to the side. Your weight's in your heel. We're gonna hold. And I just hit start, all right? So this leg, because it's tight, you were just on it, you might find that it keeps slipping off. It's just because your hamstring and glute are so tight that your knee is not bending as much. So it's all right to hold it. You can hold it. You can push it up here. There's nothing wrong with you if that's happening. Um, and stay down nice and low. Keep your weight in your heel. Pop this hip out so you've got the workload in your glute. And breathe. Big, deep breaths. My son, Andon, is 16, and he's been making dinners for us a couple times a week, which is awesome. It's like super nice to have somebody else make dinner, right? Like if you're a mom and you are the one that has to make dinner most of the time, I don't care if we have grilled cheese sandwiches. If I don't have to make it, it's awesome, right? But I find that whenever someone else makes dinner, the mess is much greater <laughs> to clean up after dinner. And then we had to have a talk about not wasting ingredients, right? So he's such a sweetheart, he made a cake and like nachos. But he cooked up like way, way, way too much food. It takes some time to figure that out. And then uh, used like an entire carton of eggs, an entire sticks of butter and all this stuff. There's all this like leftover stuff downstairs. And I thought, you know, this is probably kind of an expensive dinner for nachos and cake <laughs> because of all of the extra ingredients they used. Um, but man, it was delicious, and I did not have to make it. <laughs> all right, guys, you only have 10 seconds to hit the two-minute mark. Can you believe it? This side just flew by, right? No, it did not. <laughs> Ready? And let's stand up. Help yourself oh, off that wall and shake it out. You guys did such a great job. Two minutes on each leg. Okay, we're gonna come down on our mat. Make sure that you guys can see me when I come down here. And we're gonna have to pick that loop band up again. I'm so sorry. But you know, that's what this class is. <laughs> You're gonna take your loop band and let's release it just below the knees. We're gonna sit up nice and tall. You can use your uh, arms to help support your back. And we're going to do a little abduction move in this seated position for the glutes, all right? So feet are firmly on the ground. Take them about hip width apart or farther. Sit up nice and straight and tall. And you're just gonna push out and out. Now, not only do I want you to push out nice and hard and far, but I don't want you to let your knees come back in very far. So I want you to leave the tension on that band at all times, all right? I'm gonna turn in a slightly different direction so that you guys can see from that angle. The other thing you can do, we're gonna change where our loop band is in a second, but for now I want it under your knees. Um, you can take your feet out wider if you feel like you don't have enough tension on that band. All right, so keep going. We're pressing out. We're sitting up nice and straight and tall, okay? So nice and straight, chest up and out, feet are wide, push, push, and push, okay? You want to sit up as straight and as tall as you can. Don't lean back here, okay? Get up real straight and tall. Use your arms to help support your back to do that. All right, guys, we're going to do high repetitions on this one. You've got 20. Give me everything you got. Here we go. 20. I'm going to try to do two. 19 with each count. 18. They're a little in quick. We can do it. 17. 16. Chest out. 
14, 13, and 12, 11, 10, and 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, straighten those legs up. Shake them out for a second. You're going to take that band and move it above your knees. And we're going to do a second set. Same thing, that subtle change in where we put the band. See how that changed it. All right? Okay, get off those arms for a second. And here we go. Feet are up. Get them wide enough that you've got some tension. Chest up and out. Here we go. Push and push. Now, if you have pants on that cause your band to slip way up by your hips, then you might just want to take that band and put it under your knees again. Because you don't want to clear up by your hips. It's okay if it moves a little bit. But if it sh shoots clear up by those hips, you're just not going to have enough leverage. Now, what this allows you to do is get your knees even wider apart in this position. All right? So we're pressing open. Open. Sit up nice and straight. Get your chest close to your legs. And we've got our 20. You ready? 20. 19. 18. And 17. 16. Don't lean back. 13. And 12. 11. 10. And 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. And... One. All right. Straighten those legs up. Shake them out. And finally, we get to lay down on our side. All right? So, pick a side. It doesn't matter. We're going to do one side and then the other. I'm going to get my towel. If you have water, grab it, put it next to you. We're going to be down here now for probably the rest of class. You can just take a nap. <laughs> All right. You know what? I think we'll leave the band just above our knees. I know mine's black, so it's kind of hard to see my pants, but just above the knees. And I have quite the sequence for us, so I wrote some stuff down. My cheat sheet here. I'm going to have you lay down, bring your knees kind of up towards that chest, okay? You don't need to tuck them clear and tight, just comfortable. And I want about a 90 degree angle, okay? Now, we're going to start with our feet together, and you're simply going to push this top knee out and open. Don't worry so much about bringing your knees together. You want to keep this tension on the band. You know, that's the theme. So much talk about tension on our band, but I want you to focus on pressing up and up and out, up and out, all right? So... I love the sequence we're about to do. We're going to flow through a bunch of different moves, keep things interesting. This is super effective for your glutes, but I want you to do your best to flow into each move without taking a rest, all right? So we're going to do about five more of these. You're just going to barely start to feel those glutes wake up, but wait till I throw in a few more moves, all right? Here we go. Five. Four, three, two, and we're going to lead this knee up and bring the other foot to meet it so everything's level. And then you got to lift and lift. All right. So we're going to do 10 lifts and then we're going to combine the two. You're going to do open and then lift. All right. You'll see. It'll work out. Give me 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold it up. All right, you're gonna put your feet together. Open, lift, open, lift, open, lift, open those knees, lift everything. Open, lift. You've got ten, nine. And 
five. That's already killer. Four. Three. Two. And one. Leave it up. You're going to straighten, bend, lift. Straighten, bend, lift. Straighten, bend, lift. Notice how my knees are apart this whole time. Straighten. Boom. You've got 10. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. And relax for a second. Straighten those legs. Tap that glute. Give it a little massage. Let's lay on our back. Maybe give that guy just a little bit of a hug. And then we're going to roll on to the other side. All right, we're going to be back and forth just a bit for this set because I've got some awesome moves down here to show you, and I want to make sure we get all in. So, same thing on the other side here. Ooh, if I can lay on this hip. We're going to lay down all the way. Bring those knees in. Keep your feet together, and we're going to start with the open, open. Remember back on the other side when we were doing this, and you thought, this isn't so bad. <laughs> All right, pressing open. We're going to go with 10, 9, and 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, last one, leave that knee open, bring the other leg up so that everything's parallel here, and you're gonna lift, lift, and lift. Push against that band. All right, here's our 10, nine, and eight. Then we're gonna add the two together. Seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Feet together. Open, lift. Open, lift. Open, lift. All right, you ready for your 10? Right here, 10. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two. Last one, leave that leg up. You're gonna straighten, bend, lift. Straighten, bend, lift. Straighten, bend, and lift. Here's our final 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one, relax, straighten those legs out, give it a pat. We're gonna roll over on our backs in just a second, and we get to get rid of the loop band just for one set, all right? So, hug those knees in, stretch out those glutes, get rid of the loop band. We're gonna do a variation of a one-legged bridge or hip lift. So the leg that's closest to me I want you to leave it at a 90 degree angle, flat on the earth, okay? The other leg, 
you're going to kind of straighten it out. It can be totally straight if you want, or you can have a slight little bend. But this leg that's straight, you're not going to use it. This is the leg we're lifting with, all right? So this leg is just lying there. You ready? Plant those elbows on the ground. Go ahead and pick this hip up. It's all right if you roll a little bit to this side. The main thing is, this is the only leg that's working, okay? Down and up, here we go. Up and up. It's all right if that hip rolls. Open to this side, that's okay. Push through your heel and lift. All right, we're doing 15, 14, 13, and 12. 10, really drive your hip to the ceiling. Nine, eight, seven, five, four, three, Two and one. Put that leg down, shake it out. And we're going to do the same thing, other side. So adjust, kind of center yourself. This foot's at a 90 degree angle. This can be just totally straight or a little bent, but make sure that you're not pushing off this leg. You ready? Here we go. Lift up. It's okay if you roll a bit. And let's go one, two, If you're not feeling this in your glute and your hamstring, and you're feeling most of the workload in your quad or even like your knee, one thing that um, usually helps with that is to take your foot and move it farther from your body. If the workload is here, that most of the time means your foot's too close to your butt and it needs to go out that way a bit more. You've got 12, 11, and 10. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax, straighten those legs out, get a little shake and a little bit of a hug, and we're gonna go back to a seated position and put our loop band back on. So rock and roll up. <sighs> My backside is sore, sore, sore. Okay, we're gonna make it through one more set at least. We might not make it through my final set today. So I might have to save it for you guys for another day. But uh, if we don't make it, don't you worry. This next set I'm about to show you, it's gonna be a doozy. All right, go ahead and lie back on that first side. And we're going to bend our knees up close to our chest again. Top leg, let's bring the loop band above our knees. I think it'll keep it out of our way a bit better. All right, raise that top leg up, and you're just going to need a lift. We're going to build from here. This one's something you've done already. Just that lift. We've got 10. Nine and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold your leg up. You're just going to pull your knee in and in to that chest. In. The higher you keep your leg, the more tension you've got on that band, the more you're going to feel this. Bring it in and in. You've got 10, nine, now your quad's gonna come into play, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, now you're gonna go up and in, up, in, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, 
three, two, last one. Leave the tension on that band. You're going to draw a little arch back and forward, back and forward. Just a little arch with that knee. Woo! Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. This is the final set on this side. Bring your knee to the front of the arch. Little teeny lifts, tiny, quick. 10 seconds. Eight. Ah! Three, two, and one. Can we even drop our leg? I don't know. Oh, we're gonna have to straighten this leg out. Straighten it out. Give it a pass. You know what we need to do? We gotta shake that guy out here because we're gonna have to lay on it. So let's just start this way. Straighten your legs out. Give it a shake. My, my, my. And then if you need to take your loop band off for a second to get a little bit of a stretch, you can do that. But I'm just gonna bend both my knees and take that guy over there and then try to relax. So, the leg here is just working is here on top. Whoa! I told you, loop band. One of my favorites, I have a love-hate relationship with the loop band. We're going to the other side. Can we even lay on this side? Let's see, a little bit of a roll. We'll give it a try. Whew. All the way down. Now, if your neck's starting to get tired because you're propping your head up like this, you can go down like that. It's not gonna affect this move whatsoever. Bring those knees up to chest level, heels away from your backside, and let's get this side over with, right? Lift that top leg and give me those just regular old lifts to start with. Make sure, especially here at the beginning while your leg still works just a little bit, that um, you're putting as much pressure on that band as you can. We've got 10, 9, and 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and you're going to hold that knee up, and then you're going to pull it in, and in, and in. So you've got tension coming at your leg in two different ways. You're holding it up here, and then you're pulling it in towards your chest. So here's to 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, we got to go up and in, up, in, up, and in, 10, 9, 8, 7, it's starting not to do what I'm telling it to do, 6, 5, Four, three, two, and one. Hold it up. We're going to arch back and forward. Back and forward. Arch. Ten. Get a lot of tension at the top. Nine. Eight. Seven. Shake it out real quick. 
straighten it out. Just kind of do your best to work out that hip and glutes. We're going to lie back on our back. Don't worry, I'm not going to make you pick your hips up at all. You get to keep your butt on the ground, but we're not quite done. So lay flat. Oh, guys, this is all we have time for. This is it. <laughs> I can't even throw in our last set. That's okay. Um, our last set on either side. I was going to do one more on that side and one more on this side. We'll save it for another day so you guys will have something else to do. But for now, we're going to end here. Soles of your feet on your mat, but I do want your lead band under your knees, okay? Now your back's gonna wanna arch, press it down, get your feet nice and wide. We've fatigued our glutes so badly already that even just laying here in this position with your knees wide, using your band, you're gonna feel, all right? So get out to a wide enough position that those outer thighs and glutes are working, and then we're just gonna push out. So you don't even have to hold your backside off the ground. Just leave it resting there on the floor. We're pressing out and out and out. <sighs> Breathe through this, just kind of singles. Then we're going to pick up the pace and count 20 repetitions. See if you can do two with every one of my counts. You ready? Pick up the pace. Here we go. 20, 19. 18, 17, flatten your back against the ground, 14, 13, and 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and we're going to rest just long enough to bring it on top, come back to that same position and get going. Out, out, out. Nice job. Okay, this is the final set of the class, period. So I want your feet wide, back flat against the ground. You're gonna feel your glutes work more if you kind of tuck your hips up and under and flatten your back. I don't want you here. Your back is taking the workload. Get it here, okay? You got 20 seconds. Here we go. 20, 19, 18. Tuck those hips, flat back. Ah! 14, 13, and 12. 11, 9, 8, 7, 6. A little wider, wider. 4, 3, 2, and one, you did it. Let those knees come together nice and easy. And then let's get rid of that loop band. That was super intense. Um, and so let's take a second to stretch out. Let me know if you completed this whole class. I love to hear who hangs in there with me the whole time. And then I would also like to hear if you at class yesterday because it's two lower body classes back to back um, and uh, they were both good lower body classes so if you're looking for a little extra um, glue work throw the booty bar class from yesterday if you didn't do it throw it in somewhere this week because it was such a good class I'm sore in all the right places from that class. And I feel like it's going to kind of be the same with this one as well. Breathe. Got to catch our breath after all that. We're going to rock and roll up so I can see you guys. Great job. Let's just sit Indian style here for a second. Just kind of shake things out. And then... We gotta give ourselves a glute stretch. So we'll see how deep I can get into this one. It might not be much. <laughs> Thank you guys for being with me today. Continue to share these classes with people. Um, I'm trying to go on Instagram a little bit and promote the classes there, but everything for me is, is YouTube mostly. So if you know people that would like to join live, would benefit from kind of having a live community to work out with, please share. 
Uh, I don't guarantee that my jokes will be funny. And I do not guarantee that my lighting is always going to be on point, or that my hair will look good, or that my outfit will be super cute every day. But I will give you an amazing killer workout every time you meet with me. That is my promise to you. I will not miss that, and I will not skip a beat when it comes to that. So if you can handle all the other weird stuff that goes on live, and my lack of cute uh, backdrops, and to create a pair of status, you will get a killer workout. All right, so who did the whole thing? Who made it through the whole thing? I don't know if I can stand up. <laughs> Jody, great job. Amanda, you did the bar last night. Wasn't it killer? Like, Amanda, honestly, my butt is sore, like right in the middle of my butt cheek. And I don't know how that happens exactly, but I'm glad for it. Lacey, great job. Katrina, you were there yesterday too. You guys, I'm sorry if you did yesterday's class and this class back to back, but like, I'm not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Two killer lower body classes in a row. Great job. Um, we'll see some of you at nine for upper body and abs. We'll see some of you hopefully tomorrow, um, 7.30 a.m., you guys killed it. Great job. We'll see you soon.